This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. Research shows us that up to 50% of the U.S. population makes New Year's resolutions, but fewer than 10% will keep them after the first few months. One of my resolutions is feeling my best and looking my best, and I'll do that with Ageless Multicollagen. Collagen uses proven ingredients that make my skin healthier and more supple, which gives it that youthful look. Plus, I feel so much more vibrant when I'm on it. It's gonna give me the energy that I need to stick with all my resolutions this year. Just go to www.healthwithdronetech.com and get my favorite collagen for 51% off today so you can look and feel your absolute best. Or click the link in the video description or pinned comment. Well, my reaction is that 45 out of uh, 50 Republicans think that uh, former President Trump should face zero no, uh, accountability for inciting uh, an insurrection. And I tend to agree with Joy. The current Republican Party, um, there is no rift in the, in the current Republican Party. This is a far-right extremist party. This is the party of QAnon. This is the MAGA party. This is the Confederate flag party, the Confederate statue party, the kids in a cage party, the build a wall party, the anti-science party, the uh, anti-climate change right. party, the nationalist party, the isolationist party. Hey, welcome back, everybody. So I just had to show this clip. I know it's driving you all insane. I hate watching the spew as much as you do. But every now and then they say something that's just so off the wall and insane that I have to address it. And in regards to Trump's supposed incitement, I've seen zero evidence that he did that. What he did say at the end of his speech was that they should all go out and peacefully protest, make your voices heard. So as usual, the people in the media, the elites, the Hollywood elites, they're all trying to shut down their political opposition. These people think that they are sort of the baseline for America and anybody who stands in opposition to them uh, disagrees with them or the things that they say well there are they are the worst monsters that you can imagine and they're going to paint you that way in order to solidify their power and so that they can push their agenda criticism and scrutiny free first off let me just say that i don't have any real allegiance to the republican party they've never really done anything for me and they don't inspire me but the fact of the matter is what she says in this rant is just totally untrue it's a pure democrat party broad generalization and sweeping judgment of 75 million americans because they're inconvenient to their agenda. I don't want to spend a ton of time on this, but let's just go down her list of claims here and easily debunk them. First of all, she says that this is the party of QAnon. Okay, I'm a Republican. I'm what she would call a right winger. I know nothing about the QAnon conspiracy. And if for just a second we give her that and we say, okay, the Republicans are the party of the QAnon conspiracy. The left is the party of multiple conspiracies, whether it be the critical race theory conspiracy theory or the systemic racism conspiracy theory or that black people are being hunted down by police across this country conspiracy theory the jacob blake conspiracy theory that he didn't have a weapon he was just gunned down by police that led to riots and real destruction and death what about that conspiracy theory what about all those conspiracy theories that Rand paul mentioned the other day no democrat will honestly ask whether bernie sanders incited the shooter that nearly killed steve scalise and volunteer coach the shooter nearly pulled off a massacre i was there because he fervently believed the false and inflammatory rhetoric spewed by Bernie and other Democrats, such as the Republican health care plan for the uninsured is that you die. As this avowed Bernie supporter shot Steve Scalise, nearly killing him, and shot one of our coaches and two or three of our staff, he screamed, this is for health care. Ask me or anyone if that's incitement. No Democrat will ask whether Cory Booker incited violence when he called for his supporters to get, get up in their face of Congress people, a very visual and specific incitement. No Democrat will ask whether Maxine Waters incited violence when she literally told her supporters, and I quote, that if you see a member of the Trump administration at a restaurant, at an apartment store, at a gas station, or any place, you create a crowd and you push back on them. Is that not incitement? My wife and I were pushed and surrounded and screamed at by this same type of mob that Maxine likes to inspire. It's terrifying to have a swarm of people threatening to kill you, cursing at you and literally holding you hostage until police come to your rescue. That night we were assaulted by the crowd. I wasn't sure if we'd survive even with the police protection. But no Democrat 
has ever considered impeaching Maxine for her violent rhetoric. Many on the Democrat side of the aisle cheered them on. Kamala Harris famously offered to pay the bill for those who were arrested. I wonder if she'll be brought up on charges of inciting violence for that now that she's vice president. Should Republicans impeach the Democrat mayor of Seattle? who incited and condoned violence by calling the armed takeover of part of her city a summer of love. More than 700 law enforcement officers were injured during the Antifa Black Lives Matter riots. There were at least 19 murders, including 77-year-old retired police officer David Dorn. Yet Democrats insist on applying a test of incitement to a Republican that they refuse to apply to themselves. Are we ever going to see the Spew or Sonny Halston get up and demand that Democrats pay a price for their support and incitement of violence for the last four years? No, of course not. She says that this is the Confederate flag party, the Confederate statue party. I'm sorry, I, I have no love for the Confederate army or any of that stuff. But I do understand the principle of standing up for American history and being against the idea, the Orwellian idea of book burning. I don't fly a Confederate flag. I don't care about the Confederate flag. But I understand that if they take away that then what's next because the logic that they use to take away the confederate flag or demonize it they can use to demonize and take away the american flag we saw this with the statues trump saw it too he warned that the logic being used to take down those statues would also be used to tear down the rest of american history but what happened trump was right they targeted washington they targeted jefferson they targeted mount rushmore and make no mistake when all of this is said and done they'll take down all of american history that's what most of us are standing up for it has nothing to do with the confederacy or racism then comes one of her worst accusations she says that the republicans are the kids in cages party now let's just fact check that real quick because for the last four years they've been making that claim and we've been pointing out that not only were those cages built by barack obama and joe biden and not only did they first house kids in those cages but this has all actually been going on for over 20 years and much of it is due to the flores decision she then says that the republicans are the anti-science party and maybe you can find examples of republicans being anti-science but again i'm a republican and i love science i've always loved science but then again i don't think that men can have babies the Democrat Democrat Party believes that there's no difference between men and women, which is why Joe Biden just signed this executive order, which allows men to compete in women's sports. That's as anti-science as you can get, but they control all the flows of information, so it doesn't even matter. She claims the Republicans are the anti-climate change party. Again, I don't think anybody believes that there's no climate change. We all know that since the earth was formed that there's been climate change. What we disagree with again is this far left ideological movement using this cause as a Trojan horse for their far left policies, which are inherently anti-capitalist, anti-American, anti-individualism, and ultimately anti-freedom. Folks, the hard truth here is, is that as long as they control the flows of information in all these institutions, it won't matter how hypocritical or wrong they are. Simply being in power means that they're right that's all i have for this one please hit that like button share and subscribe if you'd like to support this channel or follow me on other platforms you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment thanks for watching keep coming back